So welcome back to DHAM DIY. The following is going to be the start of a new series, Creek Philosophy. A stone thrown casts ripples. And as cheeky as that, you know, Creek philosophy may be, you know, ancient Creek philosophy, uh, <laughs> doing it more as a creative outlet. Um, the War for Your Well-Being was, was I, I really enjoyed making that video, you know, as much as it was a rant. Uh, you know, it definitely was a creative outlet, whether or not people want to listen. Um, it brings me peace sharing my thoughts. So that's what this is going to be. Many of you have heard, you know, maybe the quote or the, uh, the saying that a stone thrown casts ripples, right? There, you know, it's a, uh, you know, Mother Teresa said something along those lines way back when. And it couldn't be more true, right? You get a stone, stone thrown casts ripples. And you can see the reaction of the fish. Look at them. I believe those are baby bass, or there might be a bluegill too. You can see how they swarm to the area when I drop that, right? Let's do it again. Here's the fish right here. Look at them. They go and sit under it, right? So, and we got some wasps over here. I hope I don't get bit. Um, so, yeah, the, the theory is true, right? <laughs> the, the, uh, the viewpoint of a stone thrown casts ripples, but what is it? What do, what do we mean by that, right? When you when you produce an action, right? You're producing an action by throwing the stone, and what you do and how you do it can produce uh, varying effects. No matter how big of a stone you throw, it's always going to cast a ripple. Here, I got a little uh no. Oh, <laughs> They're so small, they're hard to pick up. Little pebble, right? Very small. Little ripple. Big stone. Big ripple. First stone, fish didn't even, you know, didn't even hardly notice, right? Kind of looked at it, went over there. Big stone, he ran. <laughs> and and that's the uh, that's the thought process, right? When when you go about life, um, sometimes you want to get to the other side. You know, as an analogy, right? Sometimes you want to get to the other side of that creek. Whether that creek may be um, a successful business, right? A business venture or maybe running a mile, you know, maybe that's your goal, right? Point B, that's your point B. How you do it is very important. It's not always about just getting there, right? Doing anything and everything to get to, get to the other side. Sometimes it's about how you do it. So let's find a good stone here. Let's say this right here is. Well, we got two stones, okay? Well, let's get a let's get a terrible stone. <laughs> One that I know isn't gonna make it to the other side. Let's say we want to create a successful business, okay? That's getting to the point point B. First one, let's say this is a um, you wanna sell creek water, okay? So you wanna create a successful business selling creek water. Now, of course there's many different ways to do that, right? But the stone itself is the idea for the business. The throw is how you go about it. So let's assume here that, you know, maybe I wasn't that successful at how I went about this business. Okay, you got halfway across. Now, if I would have thrown that extraordinarily hard, of course it would have succeeded, right? If I would have poured half a million dollars in my business venture, it probably would have succeeded. But having the arm I do, right, having the ability that I do, I wasn't able to make that work. Now, another business venture. Let's say you want to create a um, honey. You want, to, you want to create a honey business, right? You want to sell honey. Now, that might very well be a rock that I'm able to get to the other side. Of course, it still depends, and it's contingent on how I throw it. So let's see. Okay, not only did I get to the other side, but I also went very far up there. That was a very successful business venture. And it was contingent upon the rock throne and also how I threw it. Now, although that stone got to the other side, it wasn't without effect. It wasn't without ripples. 
you can see the water is very, you know, choppy right now in comparison to how it was a minute ago. And, you know, I think that's, that's really interesting to think about, right? It's not about where you get, you know, how you, it's, a, it's not about getting there, right? It's not about just getting this successful business. But more so the ripples I created along, along the way. In order to, um, okay, let's say, let's say for this analogy that the ripples are negative consequences, right? So the more ripples I create throwing this stone across, the, uh, the bigger of a negative impact I have on the world, right? How many heads did I step on to climb to the top of that honey industry, right? Did I, did I slander and defame the other honey producers in the area? Did I embezzle, you know, <laughs> which, you know, stealing from government, you know, there's a, there's a morality debate on that. But, um, yeah, how, so let's see, let's see how many skips I can get this rock over to the other side with. And let's see how many skips with this one. Now, of course, let's assume for the purpose of this demonstration, these are both the same rock in, you know, weight, shape, all that, okay? Okay, so I got that rock all the way to the other side in one skip. Now let's try this one. Two skips, okay. So, very different, very different, right? And of course, just for that particular analogy, we're gonna be saying that the, the ripples are negative consequences. All right, so let's try it again. Okay, so, <laughs> so that business venture was a little bit dirty, right? There was some, there was some serious fraudulent activity going on with that one. And you know, that's, that's the philosophy in this. Not only do I think you can learn a lot from just going outside and, and you know, using your head, but the, uh, something about the water and the creek, you know, being out in nature, it, it really aids in uh, deep thought, right? It really aids in, in just kind of thinking about life, you know? It's, I, think it's, I think it's healthy for, it's healthy for people to kind of think about things. And, you know, the stone thrown casts ripples. I, I always kind of think about that. And the chain reaction of events that you set into play on doing something very mundane, right? Maybe you took out the trash and you had a whole lot of uh, hot dog buns in the trash. You know, you throw it in the, into the dumpster and then a raccoon eats it, gets sick, dies. Because, you, you know, your hot dog buns in the trash can. And then maybe a buzzard comes along, eats him but that raccoon happened to have some sort of disease and then the buzzard dies too. And then, you know, you see a buzzard driving on the side of the road and then the buzzard makes you think, uh, I don't know, makes you think about your grandma or something, you know? I mean, <laughs> and, and you directly caused, you know, you, you get the point, right? The, the chain reaction of events that you start by throwing a stone, what you do and how you do it results in the outcome of the amount of ripples, right? Maybe there's a, the tiny rock, a mean post on, on your social media platform of choice, right? Now, who I throw it at? I throw it uh, over here in the shallow or do I want to throw it out in the deep, you know? You want to uh, call out your friend or something, you know, over there in the shallow. Okay, you know, you got a bit of a ripple, right? But it's only going to go so far. It's only going to be so big. The outcome is only going to be contingent upon where you threw it. Same thing with another rock of similar size. Uh, you know, what you say, who you say it to, and uh, maybe the, for the timing <laughs> that you send it out there, right? So, you know, I guess the moral of the discussion would be just kind of think a little bit more about how you do things in this world, um, who you do them to, It's a, uh, you know, it's, it's, not a, it's not a preach so much as to tell everybody to go be good people, but just think about what you're doing and how you're doing it, right? Everybody's actions have outcomes, consequences, they have ripples. And whether or not you care about that is your own choice, but just know that they're there. Even, you know, sometimes we do things and don't think anything of them, and I guess that's maybe the problem. Not so much a problem, but just a way that things are, right? 
think about the way you do things, how you do them, who you do them to. And uh, I think that'll help, help us all be better people. So that's going to be the ending of Creek Philosophy, A Stone Throne Cast Ripples. Um, I, you know, I, I just really enjoyed just kind of talking, right? And I'm um, probably going to come out here every now and again and, and film a video or two. We are working on the concrete slab that's still going on. So um, get ready for the video that soon. we got a lot done on that. It's going good. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.